Welcome to Direct U.S. Immigration's channel, where you get direct access to our most up-to-date immigration and global mobility space. My name is Matreya Brown, and I'm going to talk about the adjustment of status process through a K-1 fiancé visa entry. You're not going to want to miss out on this one. Stay Adjustment of status to permanent residence is an exclusive process to apply for a green card reserved for certain intending immigrants that are physically present in the United States. A K-1 visa holder who has married his or her U.S. citizen fiancé is generally eligible. As an applicant for adjustment of status through a K-1 visa, USCIS will need to review your medical examination. Most applicants recently completed these processes during the consular stages. However, you may need to submit the vaccination report at the adjustment of status stage. You are not required to obtain another immigration medical examination when you are adjusting your status as a K-1 entrant, provided that the following are true. So you file Form I-45 within one year of your overseas medical examination. The medical examination did not reveal any Class A medical condition and you received a waiver of inadmissibility uh, if, of course, if you did have a Class A medical condition and you have complied with the terms and conditions of the waiver. You must demonstrate that you have complied with the vaccination requirements even if USCIS does not require a new medical examination. You will need to confirm that the vaccination record, which is uh, DS3025, was completed correctly and included as part of the original overseas medical examination report. If you still need to, you must have the vaccination report completed by a designated civil surgeon. If the timelines of the green card processing times is extremely important to you, many attorneys recommend completing the entire medical exam again. It often takes the U.S. consulate time to forward the original exam to USCIS. Therefore, by getting a new medical exam, you can speed up the approval time for your adjustment of status to permanent residence. Now, many people are surprised by the size and complexity of an adjustment of status package. It includes several forms plus the supporting documents that must be filed with each form. For adjustment of status through a K-1 visa entry, the following forms should be submitted. So form I-45, which is the application to adjust status. Now, this is the primary form for an adjustment of status package. Now, this is the application for permanent residence you know, of course, or a green card, and entering as a K-1 fiancé and subsequently marrying the U.S. citizen who sponsored the visa is a basis for eligibility. Next is Form I-864, which is the Affidavit of Support. So the U.S. citizen sponsor must prepare Form I-864 to show that the K-1 spouse has adequate means of financial support and is likely to avoid becoming a public charge. Generally, the sponsor must have an income higher than 125% of the poverty guidelines. However, there are several other ways to satisfy this requirement. Next is Form I-693, which is the Report of Medical Examination and Vaccination Record. So as previously described, each intending immigrant must undergo a medical exam. The exam is part of the process of removing health-related grounds of inadmissibility. It's a routine part of the process to ensure public safety. Now the next two forms are optional, and that is Form I-131, which is the application for travel document. So you would use this optional form to request an advanced parole document. This document will allow you to travel internationally while the adjustment of status application is processing. If the applicant departs the U.S. without advanced parole, USCIS will likely consider an I-485 application abandoned. The second form is Form I-765, which is the Application for Employment Authorization. So you would use this optional form to request employment authorization, and this document will allow you to work while the Adjustment of Status application is processing. After filing the Adjustment of Status package, USCIS will mail you an appointment notice for a biometric screening. The biometric appointment is a short appointment with USCIS Application Support Center to collect fingerprints, photograph, and other information. They'll use this data to perform a background check. Adjustment of status through a K-1 visa entry will generally always include an interview. 
Applications for permanent residence via marriage are some of the most abused by individuals seeking to circumvent immigration laws. Therefore, you should expect some additional scrutiny with your application. If you have married for genuine reasons and not for the primary purpose of obtaining a green card, there's nothing to worry about. You and your spouse won't have any problems answering questions the USCIS officer asks. Nonetheless, it is best to prepare for the I-45 interview. I hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe if this content or information helps you in any way. Comment below if you want me to talk about something in specific and share this resource widely because you never know who needs answers to these questions. Additionally, if you have any specific questions about this video as they pertain to your unique circumstances, please schedule a consultation with us also at the link below, and I'll see you in the next video.